Uh, hello everybody, welcome once again. Um, from past lectures, we have known that the expected value um, refers to when we try to predict uh, future events. Sometimes the result of this expected value is confusing, um, you will agree with me, or does not tell us much as we would have loved to know. So for example, if we have to compute, um, say, the expected value of seven from a pair of dice, by a pair I mean um, two dice. So by a pair of dice, I mean two dice. So now, if you if you throw two dice, we have a sample space of 36. How did I know? How did I know it's 36? So let's see from this uh, probability table here. So from this probability table here, uh, the first die, which is here, the first die is from one to six, and the second die is from where? One to six. So the, um, by by two dies, if you multiply the sample space of uh, one die by the sample space of the other die, you have what thirty six. That is six times six. You agree with me that the sample space is the what uh, some total of uh, possible um, the total of uh, possible outcome. So multiply by another six because we have a pair, and I told you a pair means two. So multiplying them together, we have what thirty six. So so from the table. Um, you will see that the table shows the um, expected uh, uh, shows some repeated values rather you will see that some values are repeated and um, if you if we take a look at it um, let's see how many times um, seven were repeated let's count one two three four five six you will see that seven were repeated uh, six times so we can now say uh, probability of uh, probability of having um, seven that is p of seven will now be what six over thirty six. Um, let me oh let me let me see if I can do that in practical. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm saying. So we can now say that because seven occurs from this table here. From this table here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of course six times. So we can now say uh to get the probability of seven, we can now say uh, let's say because seven of course six times, so we can now say six all over. Okay, let me say let me clean it off. Let me clean it off. So we can say the probability of seven, the p of seven the p of seven that is when you throw um two dice the probability of having um the sum of um one die and the other die the sum of them probability of it giving you uh, seven is let's say p of seven will now be what because it occurs six times so it will now be what six multiplied by the total sample space you know i told you each of the sample spaces each of the sample space of each each die is six so six multiplied by six we have 36 so multiply by 36 so you have one you have here six year one and what six year um, six and 36 six you understand so that is that so you know i told you um six which is now one is the what favorable favorable outcome while 36 is now what um which, which is now six is what total possible outcome so since we are dealing with numerical data um, let's follow the previous example we used for ascertaining the uh, expected value of numerical data using the techniques of multiplying each event of say a b and c and each and and each with their respective probability and while summing summing them up let, let me let me give you uh let me show you what I'm trying to say in practical. Yes. Now, look at this. Because we are going to be dealing with um, under-expected value, it is, we are, it is pertinent to be um, dealing with numerical data. So let's, let's follow this previous example that we have used. Remember, we used this example uh, for ascertaining the expected value of numerical data using um, these techniques. Let's say, yeah, you know, these are sample spaces. So to get the probability of A, you multiply what? 
to get the expected value, sorry, excuse me, to get the expected value of A, you have what? The sample space multiplied by the probability of A. Don't forget. Expected value of A equals what? Sample space multiplied by the probability of A. The expected value of B is got to what? Sample space multiplied by the probability of B. The expected value of C is what? Sample space multiplied by the what? Probability of what? C. So the total sample, the sample space of all these three will now be what? This plus this plus this. That is, you will add the expected value of each of them together. I, I hope you are getting what I'm saying. So, so let's to do this. Um, to do this, yeah, we must uh, let, let's try to assign an appropriate probability to each um, uniquely um, unique entry. Let me use this. This is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is what I'm trying to say here. Now you will see that um, this and this sums up to be what this this and this sums up to be this this and this sums up to be four one and five and four sums up to be five one and six sums up to be six one and six uh sums up to be what seven so um that is what we are trying to um depict so from the calculation you will see that the probability of expected uh, value say p of seven equals what one over six how did i know let me repeat if you count a probability of seven of having seven from the sum of uh from throwing from the sum of throwing uh that is pro probability of having um two uh, a, a pair of dice summing up to be seven is what one two three four five six it occurs check this table you will see that it occurs six times so invariably you can now say p of seven equals what one over six because it's gonna be six over 36 and if you further simplify it to give you what one over six so that is the most probable um, answer but we can still but but can still be very unlikely we can be too we we, we, uh, we can't be too certain of getting we can't be too certain of getting the sum of exactly seven so the best way um, I, the best way to be sure of this is to create a probability distribution uh probability frequency distribution what is probability frequency distribution i don't know but let's see what uh, google might tell us let's go to google uh let's go to google google.com let's go to google.com and let's say um what is what is uh, probability uh frequency distribution frequency uh distribution so let's see what probability the probability look at this definition here it said a probability um, distribution is an idealized idealized frequency distribution a frequency distribution describes a specific sample or data set it is the number it is the number of times each possible value of a variable occurs what in the data set the number of times a value occurs what uh, in is in a sample is determined by what by its probability of what occurrence so um, uh, from this definition we can further simplify it to mean uh, let me let me give we can simply say we can simply put it to be a probability frequency distribution as a collection um, we have it here yeah it, we can we can give it this um, simple definition by saying a collection of probability for each word possible outcomes which summarizes or which summarize uh, the definition we we just saw in Google so so uh from from this uh, hold on please so let me show you what the table is let me hold on uh let me show you this table so from this table here you will see that 
okay which this table corresponds to the definition we just gave i hope you understand so from this table here you will see that uh uh you will see that the the, the probability is gotten from uh dividing frequency by sample space now how did i know sample space this sum here eh, this total sum here is what the sample space why frequency whenever you hear frequency in, in, in statistics frequency signifies occurrence it means number of occurrence so from the table if you go back to this table here if you go back to this table here two occurs how many times one you understand three occurs how many times two four occurs how many times three we can count it again one two three four five occurs how many times four we can confirm one two three four six occurs how many times five and seven occurs how many times six so let's 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 just oppose it with what we have here you will see that two uh two occurs how many times uh one three occurs how many times two four occurs how many times three five occurs how many times four six occur occurs how many times five seven occurs how many times six eight occurs how many times five and nine occurs how many times and that like that like that now the probability uh you can say probability frequency is equal equals what frequency divided by what sample space so to get the probability uh frequency distribution let's it, it suffice it suffices to say that probability frequency distribution is what frequency divided by what sample space what is the sample space the sum of all this is the sample space so we can now say uh the probability of two occurring one or one time or once is what one over 36 the probability of um, some three occurring that is when you throw two dice the probability of having them um, the two the dice the, a pair of die is two it means two dice now the probability of having uh, um, the two of the dice or the pair of dice summing them together having three is what one over uh two over what uh 36 which some which further simplifies to what one over 18 the probability of you having four when you throw two dice that is we say two plus one or three plus one is what three the frequency if you go to the frequency table the the, 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 the probability table you have it there three so by having three over 36 you will further simplify it to be what one over 12 and that and that and that and that i don't know if you understand if you are still confused as to this of course uh contact me in discord or uh or telegram or you can just drop it you can just drop your comment in the comment section so that i can uh, attend to you either privately or openly so that everybody everybody else could see uh, everybody else uh, having similar questions or having similar issues could you know gain from that so from from this you would see that uh, it corresponds to the definition and it also corresponds to the distribution i mean sorry the probability uh, Table. So let's now show. Let me give you. Let me show it to you um, the uh, uh, the uh, the graph. So this graph here, you will see that it's still the same thing with this graph here. It's still the same thing with what with the table I just showed you. If you go back, if you can, um, uh, if you can play back, you will see the table. Try to just oppose them. You will see that. Um, year the most occurring frequency is seven and seven is what if you see the bar here which is for seven is the most occurring frequency and of course it's on the x-axis so if you try to plot it against the y-axis you will see that it occurs what six times which is what six over what 36 and if first if you further simplify it you have what six year one divided by what six year six in 36 you have what six you understand so um from this graph here you will see that y-axis shows the possible sum you can get from throwing two dice yeah it shows you 
possible sums you can get from throwing two dice while this while axis i mean sorry uh uh, uh sorry this sorry excuse me this x axis shows uh this this sum the possible sum you can get from throwing two dice you understand while this y axis sorry excuse me um, i'm trying to repeat i mean correct what i've said wrongly why this y axis shows the probability of getting the sums let me repeat that, that again from this graph this x axis shows the possible sum you can get from throwing two dice while this y axis shows the probability of getting the sums so you could uh you could see obviously that seven has the most occur uh, occurrence as it occurs what six times look at the bar and if you plot it against the uh the y-axis which is showing the probability of six over 36 which can be further simplified to one over six you see that it occurs uh six times so when divided by the sample space um which is 36 you have what six over 36 and uh which can be so for like i said divided into have what uh, one over six so let's now let us move on to talk about uh, um, to uh, the opposite of an event because i i think i skipped that in our previous class so the opposite of an event in probability theory we call such opposite complement i don't know let's say we have an event a the opposite will be what a complement or or you can call it a prime a prime in in nigeria we call it a prime that is a raised to power um, single quotation single quote so let's have it like that for better uh, comprehension so before i continue let me ask you what a complement is if i ask you what is a complement well let's save our time you can simply say that the complement of an event is everything that the event is not say you understand everything that the event is not is the what complement of an event let me let me let me give an example let's say we have a circle sorry i'm not a good artist i'm a programmer so let's say we have a good uh i mean let, let's say we have a circle and we divide the circle here into two and we call this um side we call it we, we, we make it to be the sample space you understand so this is the sample space you understand and this i mean sorry we make this the event excuse me sorry i'm sorry we make this the event we have event a you understand and we call this uh for calling this event a definitely this is not what event a so invariably we can call it what a complement so not an event a not an event a excuse me let me not an event what a you understand because we are calling this event a invariably this one will not be what event a so it will be what a complement you understand so in this case the sample space to so now get the sample space for example if you have been given a question say uh giving um an event a equals say uh say um one over uh one over six you understand and a complement uh a complement equals what um five over what six they now say find the sample space so this is where this question this can um the, the, this formula i'm about to give you come in handy you understand say for example you are giving a equals one over six that is the event a equals one over six they now say complement equals what five over six find the sample space so to find the sample space look at this diagram you know sample space is everything together you understand so by adding this and this you now have what everything which is what sample space so invariably you can now say a plus a complement equals what sample space sample space 
sample space you understand so we can now call it what sample space please don't get it twisted don't get it don't get me wrong and don't get it um don't, don't let it be too confusing for you if you have any question as to this still ask me i will explain uh even simpler than it is now so if you have if you are confused as to what i'm trying to um do here so don't get it don't get yourself confused Say, for example, you are given a question that event A equals 1 over 6 and uh, A, uh, A complement equals what? 5 over 6. Find the sample space. This is the formula to use because we got this formula from, because we divided, look at this circle now. We divided into two. We say one is event A, the other is what? Not an event A, which is A complement. Every, having everything together, we now give you what? A sample space. This is what we have just, so that is how we got the, um, formula here yeah. so to get the uh, answer to this question to the question i asked you will just have to what add one over six plus five over six and that should give you what one uh, which happens to be the word sample space so let me let me put this in practical let's say we have all possible outcomes say say we have something like uh, let me clean this off say we have uh, something like um excuse me say we have um excuse me say we have uh something like um, let me let me say we have all possible outcome to be all possible uh, possible outcome to be what to be a uh say a b and what c so probability of a probability of a plus probability of b equals what it will be equal to what sum of probabilities of a and b then we can invariably say we can invariably say that p of a p of a plus what P of B plus what? P of C equals what? 1. Do you understand? Equals what? 1. So to get probability of A from this, let me, let, let's guess what it will be. So let, let's say a question now says, um, given the probability of A, I mean B to be so, 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 and so, the probability of C to be so, so, and so, find the probability of a so just have this formula at the back uh, at the back of your head and just know that probability of a plus probability of b probability of, probability of c equals what one so to now get the probability of a alone you now what have what probability of a excuse me you now say um say probability of a probability of a will now be what equals one minus bracket probability of what b plus what probability of what c how did how did we get here how we got here is by moving all of this you know let's we are looking for the probability of a so what 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 is to be done here is to what move probability of b and probability of c to here so mine um, one will now be what minus in probability of b and probability of c and that gives us the value of what probability of a i hope i'm making sense so um same thing happens to others remember that uh, by one we mean 100 percent by this one here yeah, we mean 100 percent and that takes us back to where we said uh where we said when probability equals to one that depicts what absolute certainty from the initial um this thing where i had to draw uh, a, 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 a horizontal line here is one zero so probability measures between zero and what one that this means absolute certainty and this means absolute uncertainty so remember that so um that um that, uh, i said 
when probability equals to one that depicts what absolute certainty and when probability equals to zero that is what absolute uncertainty now let's assume we want to be absorbed here and say we want our probability to be greater than one say we want our probability uh, for example probability of a or this probability to be to be greater than one we want this probability here to be greater than one and and uh, 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 and we know that that doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense in the in the uh, for reasons being that it means we have we have double counted or we are double counting some uh, probability at some point we have it we have some kind of double counting at some point so we can we we can only manage or we can only uh express this kind of uh, uh, situation uh, in Bayesian inference that is later in our um, lesson in the later modules we're going to be uh, discussing or we're going to be treating Bayesian inference and that is where we can uh, uh, or we can solve the problem of having probability greater than what one so um, that will be later of course I can say that will be later in our lesson so we could assume that some of some total of the probability to be we can as well assume that some total of the probability to be less than one and that means we have one or two probability missing or not counted now listen let me repeat let's say we want to be absorbed and we want to have uh the sum of all these probabilities to be greater than one that shows some level of <laughs> absurdity you understand maybe in at some po point we have um counted uh, or we are we have experienced or we have we might have made an error of double counting you understand now let's now still assume that um the probability to be less than one that is to be negative i mean sorry to be less than one you understand that is this probability to be less than one not to be negative this probability to be less than one that means we have one or two probability missing or not counted it could be probability of c it could be probability of b and it could be probability of a you understand so remember a complement i know i said a complement is denoted by this or what a or what c let's not forget that i'm trying to retreat that so that we won't, we won't um, forget so it is also important to know that it is also important to know that a complement um that the comp the complement of a complement is what is the event itself this is what i'm saying the complement of a complement when you have a complement yeah and you now still have another complement so the complement of a complement is what it was what a how did i get it this c here we cancel out what this c here that is this prime we cancel out this prime so we are now left with what a so the complement of a complement is the word event itself which is what event a so conclusively um all possible outcomes say a b c you understand a b c uh which have probability of a which have probability of a probability of b probability of c to be one can equally be say um be say a prime let's say a prime equals what b plus c you understand therefore probability of a you can as well say probability of a say a prime probability of a prime equals what one minus probability of a so anytime you have probability of a complement or probability of b complement it is one minus probability of a you know we we said we said um, probability is what uh, the probability of an event is what the event is uh, what the event is not you understand it is what the event no, is not so if we are looking for the probability of event a complement definitely to be what what the event is not which is what one minus what probability of a so that uh, that being said so before I end this lecture let me give another example uh let's say uh probability of getting one two let me sorry excuse me let me let me clean up this 
um, say uh, probability of getting um, one, uh, two, four, five, uh, and six. You see, why throw in a die? If you throw a die, the probability of getting one or two or four or five or six is the same probability of you not getting three. You see that I didn't list three there. It is it is the same of the probability of you not getting what three. You understand? Because the probability of getting one or two or four or five or six is the same probability of you not getting a three. You are invariably saying the probability of not getting a three because you didn't list it you understand so let's prove that let's see that let's see how that is working working in practical let's see how that is working in practical let me let me see uh probability of having one no because i listed one two let me sorry one two four five and six so the probability of getting one you know the sample space here is six because i'm talking about a single die so the probability of getting one is what one over six the probability of getting two is what one over six the probability of getting four is what one over six the probability of getting five is what one over six and the probability of getting six is what what one over six and of course all in probability means positive so if if you want to uh if you want to find the probability of everything together you add you sum everything here you sum the probability together and the probability summation gives you what five over six the sum of uh, probability of one probability of two probability of four probability of six probability and five and probability of six the sum of it will give you what five over six five over six now let's now look for probability of it not not three now remember that we said probability of not three simply means uh probability of three complement look at and we said that probability let's take it um let's let's uh, let's use it an example of the formula we gave the probability of a prime equals what one minus what probability of what a you understand so invariably we can simply say probability of three prime will now be what uh say probability of three prime will now be what um one minus probability of what three you understand and the probability of getting three will now still be what you remember we said each of the probability here is one over six so probability of getting three if three was included is what one over six so it will now be what one over six let me write it well so it will now be what one minus one over what six and if you find the lcm here six uh uh yeah of course one is the same thing as one over one so one in six uh six six times one six um six in six uh, one uh, minus this minus you understand so uh, one times one one so we have what five over six which is the same thing as this five over six so invariably from this calculation you will now agree with me that probability of getting the sum of these you understand is what or probability of having one two four five and six is the probability of not having three because it's, it's same uh it sums up to be to be the same value so it is the probability of not getting three so in the same way we can say p not three uh we can say uh uh uh, uh um, p not three equals my one minus p three so one minus one over c is equals what five over c which is the same as above so this brings us to the end of this probability uh for yeah we are ending our probability so in the next lesson we are going to be dealing with what we are going to be dealing with probab uh, probability combinatrics. Probability what? Combinatrics. Please uh, don't uh, don't forget probability what? Combinatrics. And of course, that is what 
we're gonna be dealing with in our next uh lesson probability combinatory simply put uh permutation and combination of course or mathematically we call it probability combinatories but in nigeria you know we call them permutation and combination so thank you for sticking around and god bless thank you for watching this video so if there's any question please ask me ask me in the comment section or you um, send me a message in discord so that i can attend to your message thank you and god bless